Foxes in the world of animated media have been portrayed in many ways. Sometimes they're adorable and curious to the world around them, sometimes they're cunning tricksters, sometimes they're clever enough to win a verbal discussion with a bunny cop, but not clever enough to avoid the wrath of a small mob boss who has a tendency to ice people who have wronged him or anyone close to him. But no matter how many different ways we've seen these animals shown in the world of animation, there is one thing we can most likely all agree on. Foxes are awesome animals. I mean, look at them, they're just so fluffy and smart and sly and beautiful and... I'm pretty sure I sound like an absolutely obsessive creep right now. In fact, I'm fairly certain even Robin Hood has put me on some sort of watch list out in Sherwood. Bottom line, foxes are amazing. They're wonderful creatures, beautiful even. They're simply... fantastic. Speaking of which... Today I wanted to talk about Fantastic Mr. Fox, a 2009 film adaptation of the book by Matilda and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory author Roald Dahl, directed by Wes Anderson. The first stop-motion movie Anderson ever directed, and thankfully not the last as he recently came out with his second go at stop-motion filmmaking, Isle of Dogs, which I still have yet to see as of this recording, as my local theater is not showing it as of yet. But anyway, my interest in Isle of Dogs actually encouraged me to see this film as I had heard very good things about it, and I wanted to get a taste of what Wes Anderson's stop-motion looked, sounded, and felt like. What did I think of it? Well, quite honestly, not only did I love it, I think this might be now tied as my favorite movie of all time alongside Back to the Future. Why? Well, please allow me to discuss the reasons for that right now. Are you cussing with me? No, you cussing with me. The story centers around Mr. Fox, played by George Clooney, who gives up his chicken-stealing ways in favor of raising a family with his wife, played by Meryl Streep. Seems reasonable to me. However, after Fox moves his family, including his son Ash, played by Jason Schwartzman, into a new tree home, he decides to resort back to his winged robber ways and raid the farmhouses of Bogus Bunsen Beans, three of the nastiest farmers this side of Animal Farm. What results is an ongoing series of both unfortunate and slightly fortunate circumstances for Fox, his family, the animals close to him in his tree home, and underground and the farmer's desperate to make Fox's life miserable as revenge for his animalistic raiding nature. If what I think is happening is happening, it better not be. First off, the atmosphere of this movie is highly beautiful. You can just feel the look of autumn in practically every single frame. Secondly, the animation has a real classic charm to it. It's like some nice mixture of Rankin Bass with less stiffness and even some Will Vinton style character movement. I love it! Thirdly, all the characters are highly relatable. True, Mr. Fox may seem like a tad jerk at times, but he makes him an endearing jerk, a jerk you're able to actually gain sympathy for, particularly towards the last act of the film which I shan't spoil for you here, Mrs. Fox is also very empathetic as the wife and mother who is both strong-willed and also quite caring towards helping her family no matter what it takes. While their son Ash can seem like a brat at times, it's easy to sympathize with him because of his need to emulate his father, only seeing him fail again and again. Christopherson? Well, he's just a peaceful spirit with a sense of tact. How can you not love him? Coach, we don't have whack bat where I'm from. What are the rules? There's no whack bat on the other side of the river? No, we mostly just uh, run grass sprints or play acorns. The rest of the characters are also a lot of fun. I just dare you not to fall in love with Wiley. Just, just try. See, this is what I was saying about how good you are just being available for a titanium card. How the cuss should you qualify for this? I pay my bills on time. I've always had good credit. Fourthly, the dialogue is memorable as well as fast-paced and witty to the core, full of so many memorable lines and scenes. In fact, I think I'm going to start using some of these quotes in my everyday life. I like your ears. M my? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I like your spots. Really? I won't be able to sleep on my back for six weeks. And on my stomach, I feel congested. Why the cuss didn't I listen to my lawyer? You're supposed to be my lab partner. I am. No, you're not. You're disloyal. Where'd you come from again? How'd you get in the sidecar? I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> 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 
Basically, when all is said and done, Fantastic Mr. Fox is an absolutely wonderful piece of animation and filmmaking magic that I recommend every one of you watching right now to seek out as soon as you can. It's a movie that is as funny as it is visually stunning and as emotional as it is action-packed. And that's certainly nothing worth cussing over.